Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. Today we are going to see how Quokka's application can expose its API details through open API specifications and how you can test it via a user-friendly UI named Swagger UI. So let's get started. Let's open a Quokka's application in our IDE. Here I have already created a simple application with a couple of surveys to speed up the process. If you want to learn more about how to create then check out our video for which link is at the top right corner. Whenever we create a service it is best practice to document those services so that others can use it effectively. Open API defines a standard language interface to restful APIs which allow both humans and computers to discover and understand the capabilities of the service without access to source code or documentation. In our Quarkus application, we need to add these extensions for the implementation. Go to the terminal over here and we need to add our extensions. So this is the command to add our extension that is mvn Quarkus colon add extension hyphen d extensions and the name of the extensions. And uh, our extension name is open API. Now if you don't remember the name of the extensions, what you need to do is you can go to code.quarkus.io there you can search for the extensions which you need to add for us it's open api so searching with open api this is the one we need to add that is small ryi open api so click on this uh, three dots and the first option is copy the command to add it with maven now click on it and the command will be copied so this is the command which will be copied so you can use this command to add the extensions from the ide so this is the same command which is here and our extension is added. Now let's run the application mvn quarkus colon dev. It's running now. Okay. Now you can see our Quarkus application is started on port 8080. Now let's go to Postman and check it. Okay. Now you can see our index.html page is loaded. Now the default URL for open API is slash open API. Okay. So let's hit this service to check open API. Okay. Now you can see our open API is loaded. You can get the all the different informations over here. Now if you want to add a custom API information then what you need to do is you can create a custom class which will extend the application class of the open API in that we can add the annotations to define our API information. So let's do that. We'll create we'll create a class custom API okay now this class will extend application class of javax.ws.rs.core package okay now for this class we need to add the open api annotations so let's add that so you can see i have added the annotation that is uh, add the rate open api definition so this is the annotation provided by the open api in this annotations we can provide different uh, details of our api so if you can see here i have added tags as extra menu and description so this will create one extra menu which will have nothing yet okay because we don't have anything added to it now the other information is info info of the application so which is by add the rate info in this we can add the details of our api so we have added open api and swagger demo which we are creating now we can define the version of this api we have added the contact details Okay, we can also add the license over here. We have added license Apache 2.0 for this. Now all this information will be displayed in the open API description or the Swagger UI which we'll be using to see all the web services which we have created. You can add many more details over here. For that you can uh, go through the open API documentations for more annotations and different descriptions that we can add. Okay, the default now we saw right the default uh, URL was open API. Now if you want to change that particular URL to any custom URL that you can change with the configuration. So for that what you can do is 
you can go to our application dot properties file and there we can add the configuration over here for the URL. So that is quarkus dot small ryi hyphen open api dot path. So this will define the custom path for your open api. So right now I have added swagger. Okay, you can add any custom path over here. So let's check this path. Okay, we don't have to rebuild our application as we are using Quarkus. Let's go to our Postman. Now, if, if you can see last time we used Open API. Let's check it again. So if you can see it's loading and we got nothing, right? It's for not found because we changed this Open API to Swagger. So let's hit with Swagger. And you can see all our information is loaded here. Okay, you can see here all the information is here like uh, the name, URL, contact details, title, license informations and all the different services which we have created here. All the informations are here. Now let's check the same thing with Swagger. So let's go to our uh, browser and the default URL for Swagger is localhost 8080 colon sorry localhost 8080 slash Swagger UI. Okay. So this is our Swagger UI. Here you can see all the different web services which we have created. So these are the slash fruits, get, post, delete and get hello. Let's check the services in our IntelliJ idea. So if you can see in fruit resources, we have different services. The path is fruits. So you can see the fruits path over here. We have different get service, post service, delete service over here. Okay. We have hello service as well. That hello service is in example resource. Okay. Now you can see that what all the informations we have, which we have added here in in our custom API. These details are coming over here. See open API Swagger demo slash Swagger, which is our uh, custom URL. The daily code buffer website, which we have added contact informations and the email which we provided and the license details over here. So this is our Swagger. Now, if you see this Swagger UI will only be available if you are running your Quarkus in dev mode. Now, if you want your Swagger to be running on your QA or your production environment, then what you need to do is you need to enable this Swagger UI for all the environments. So how we can do is we'll have to configure this. So let's go to our application dot properties file and add the configuration. So this is the configuration properties, which is Quarkus dot swagger UI dot always include equals to true. So this will include this UI service in all the environments. Okay. If you are running in production environment or QA, then you know, you don't need your UI to be swagger UI as a URL, right? Because it's very common and anyone can use it. Though we'll, though we'll be using uh, securities and all, but the better option is to use a custom URL. So for custom URL in swagger, what you can do is we can again add a property file for the custom URL. Okay. So let's add the custom property for the Swagger UI. So Quarkus dot Swagger UI path is my custom property. I've added my custom path. Okay. Let's check with this my custom path. We'll go to a browser and we'll change with Swagger UI to my custom path. Okay. Now you can see with my custom path, Swagger UI is open. So this way you can change the URL as well for the Swagger. So there are many different ways that we can use Swagger API and Open API description framework to add in our APIs to be more useful to the other users which will be using our services. Now, if you want us to cover any specific topic for Swagger UI or Open API, then do let us know in the comment section below. We will surely make a video on it. So that's it from our side. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up do subscribe to our channel until then thank you we'll see you in the next video